Admiring the grace and agility of these horses, it's hard to believe that they weren't purpose-bred for show jumping. As thoroughbreds, they started out life in racing, with punters most likely having marked them in their race cards. Now in their second careers, they've excelled, show jumping to the top in the sport. They're very forgiving, they've got really big hearts, they always try, they quick, they're smart horses and they give you everything of themselves, you know. Thoroughbreds used to be the only horses we really had to compete on, you know. We didn't have the quality of warm bloods that we do, so thoroughbreds were all we had and they were competitive and won all the top grades of the sport. More recently, obviously, we've got a lot more warm bloods in the sport. They're much more powerful and there's a lot more uh, warm blood horses coming in from overseas and from Europe, so they've dominated our sport. Jenna O'Dell and Shannon Wyndham Quinn both compete at the highest level in the sport, around tracks of 1 meter 50. This height is considered World Cup qualifying level in the eyes of the International Equestrian Federation. Just this year, Jenna won the United Aviation Group 1 meter 50 Grand Prix at Changwini on Liberty Lord Cassini, whilst Shannon recently finished a credible seventh in the prestigious United Aviation Group South African Derby at Kailami on her stallion Regenesis Fate Deezer's Esperanto. Although both horses are warm bloods, Jenna and Shannon still make space for thoroughbreds in their strings. I think a really good thoroughbred is still unbeatable, you know. They're so quick, they're so clever, they're so careful, and a lot of the warm loads are much heavier. For show jumping, we want a very uphill horse, um, a horse with a very strong hindquarter, a nice neck in front of it, and obviously, obviously their movement as well. They've got to be light on their feet and um, have obviously a good canter. Obviously all our jumping is done out of canter, so a good quality canter as well. Finding Troy is by Go Deputy out of a Western Winter Mare. He placed five times in ten starts on the track before finding his niche in show jumping. Finding Troy, I was actually contacted about to help to sell <laughs> because the owner needed to move him on and the first time I sat on him, I just loved him. I popped him into the canter and he was a really, really green thoroughbred. He hadn't been off the track long, he hadn't done much and he was so balanced and so uphill and I absolutely loved him, so I bought him, <laughs> which was not the plan. I took him to a couple of shows just in the very small classes and we've slowly built him up and he's now competitive in the 130s. He's still relatively young, he's only nine, but I absolutely adore him. He's so straightforward to ride, he's brave, he's careful, he's everything that you want in a, in a show jumper and he gives me so much confidence as well going into those classes. Glam Rock is a thoroughbred who has given everything and more in his second career. As a previous winner on the track, Shannon acquired the son of Jetmaster shortly after he came out of racing and has had him ever since. From day one, he's been super special. I mean, the first day I rode him, he um, you put a pole on the ground and he would leap maybe a meter over it. So I knew from the beginning that he was definitely gonna be a show jumper. Can you describe the feeling over the jump? It really honestly feels like you get airborne. It feels like you're flying. It is the best feeling in the world. It really is. That's why I love it so much. Glam Rock epitomizes the bravery and courage thoroughbreds are so well known for. At the beginning of this year at a colic up, so he's not at his optimal fitness yet or strength, but at the end of last year he was um, in top, top condition, shape and everything. So we finished off the year jumping the Burlington Cup, which is a usually a 145 or 150 class, but it was this year 150 and um, he jumped absolutely beautifully. It was the first time he's ever jumped that height at a six, as, as you know, his age is 16. I was absolutely thrilled. He tried so hard and gave it his all. Um, I couldn't have asked any more. So he really just is super special. So now for number nine, Sam Rock and Shannon Winterquill. 
Since this interview took place, Glamrock and Shannon won a 130-meter speed class at the ranch, as well as finishing second in the 135-2 phase at the United Aviation Group South African Derby at the end of September. Thoroughbreds, they're so easy and straightforward. They're much less complicated, so they're such good junior horses or horses for people coming off of ponies and to learn on. Gallantry Canoe is a slightly older thoroughbred, he's 16. He was unraced and he's ridden by one of my students that I teach, Olivia Roberts. I haven't ridden him much, but she does very, very well on him. She recently competed him in the under 25 South African Championships, which was two rounds at 140 and he jumped double clear for her. He was unbelievable. Um, he also, he's quite a little horse, very unconventional in the way he goes, but he has the biggest heart. He is such a trier and he will do absolutely anything for his, his rider. They have such an amazing bond together and yeah, he's just unbelievable. African artisan whose racing name was Scribbles is by Visionaire out of a jalad mare. He raced and was placed at Borodale in Zimbabwe before retiring from the sport. We call him Scribbles in the stables. <laughs> um, he's owned by Sasha Roberts and he's ridden by Olivia Roberts as well. She went across to school exchange in Australia. So I had the ride on him for a little bit, which was very, very cool. Odell for 24 African artisan, Jenna Odell for Olivia Roberts. And he's also, he's a lovely, lovely thoroughbred, lovely type. He's quite big and quite long, but he's very well put together. He's had a lot of good groundwork right from the beginning. So he's also very easy to ride. He's had a lot of really good schooling put into him, which makes him an absolute pleasure. Also inexperienced in the, in the slightly bigger classes, but he's jumped some 135s now very, very well. He's also so quick, so careful, so eager to please. He does have a little streak in him. He can swish his tail and throw an <laughs> almighty buck in there every now and again. <laughs> But yeah, I've been very lucky to have the ride on him for a couple of, of shows and I really enjoy working with him. With any horse that you buy, regardless of a thoroughbred or warm blood, if you're just having a look at the horse, you never quite know what you're going to get until you get started, you yeah. know. Um, and it might be a couple of years down the line that you realise it's actually much better than you thought or okay. not quite as good. So it's always a little bit of a gamble and a little bit of a risk. but. You, you try your best to look for those certain things and obviously you've always got those slight outliers that are not what you expected at all and have not the confirmation you want and they turn out even better than some of the others. So it is a little bit of a gamble no matter what, you, no matter what yeah. you're looking for. With the sport getting so much more advanced, the jumps are getting bigger and bigger and they can only build them so big and so technical. So the time allowance have become a lot shorter as well. So our big heavy warm bloods are no longer sort of coping with the really strict time allowance. So it's actually quite interesting that a lot of the thoroughbred blood is being bred back into the warm bloods to get them a little lighter and a little quicker again for our modern sport because it is getting so much faster and, and so much more technical. But still, I think a good thoroughbred is, is hard to beat. I really enjoy them. I mean, I think they make amazing horses for, as I said, junior riders, yeah. younger riders, um, and there's nothing stopping them from jumping in the big classes in our very much warm blood dominated sport. And I think a good thoroughbred is quite hard to beat. They're so much more straightforward and I, I love that. I've got some very complicated warm bloods as well in my string. So getting on, finding Troy especially, um, after I've ridden my other difficult ones is such a pleasure. It's a little bit of a relief in between the difficult <laughs> ones. So if I can find a good thoroughbred, I would love to keep them in my string.